Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the pure components. So this is also one of the important concept which we need to learn in the React. Let's try to learn about this pure components. What is this pure components? In order for the rendering process to work, our render, render logic needs to follow some simple rules. So let's look at these rules in this video. First of all, what actually is render logic? So you may be having doubt, what is this render logic? Let's take a look at the two types of logic that we can write in React components. So that is render logic and another one is an event handler functions. So these are the two types which we can write the logic in the component. Render logic is basically all the code that lives at the top level of your component functions and that participates in describing how the view of a certain component instances should look like. So render logic means nothing but we will be writing the JSX syntax and all those things, right? View. So that is nothing but a render logic. And here, if you try to see the example here, so what is this? Uh, what is in the code? There is a lot of render logic. So you'll be able to see the state data, and also here the create list. Also, you will be having this written, and it is written the JSX code. And at the bottom, the complete uh, JSX code it is getting written. So these describe how the component will be displayed on the screen. So this logic is called the render logic. And now the blue color box which we are having here, the blue color box, right? This is called as an event handler function. Why? Because the handle new answer, the method will not be called instantaneously. When we click on the, uh, when we change the input data, then only the, the function will be called. So that means this is an event handler function. Coming to the event handler functions, they are basically pieces of code that are executed as a consequence of the event that the handler is listening to. Code that actually does things, update state, perform an HTTP request, reading an input field, navigate to another page, etc. So these are the things that event, uh, event handler functions normally does the things. This concept is all important because React requires the components are pure. So this component is, imp this concept what I am trying to tell is important. Why? Because require React requires the components to be pure. When it comes to the render logic, in order for everything to work as expected. So the components which you are trying to do, the render logic which you are trying to implement. So these, uh, these are render logic. What it will try to do is the react, it will always try to think that it should be a pure, pure function. What does this pure actually mean? To answer that, let's have a quick refresher on functional programming principles, which are quite important in react in general. Let's start with the side effects. So a side effect happens whenever a function depends on any data that is outside the function scope, or even more importantly, whenever a function modifies the data outside its scope. So that is called as a side effect. Whenever a function uh, modifies the data or variable outside the scope means then it is called as a side effect. So let's try to see some examples here. So here if you try to see here the function is mutating an outside object. So the constant areas is equal to an empty object which is uh, present outside the variable outside the function. And if you try to see the function function circle area in that one we are trying to change the side effect so outside variable mutation. So we are trying to modify the outside variable. So this one is called as a side effect. This function is called as a side effect. Other examples of side effect are HTTP requests, writing to the DOM and more. The other important functional concept is pure functions, which are basically these, the functions without side effects. I will try to show you another example. These are the functions that does not change any variable scope, variables outside its scope. When we give a pure function, the same, the same input, it will always return the same output. So this is also one important thing you need to understand. Whenever we send the input, whatever the input you send, whatever the same input you are saying, it will always return the same output only depending on the input. For example, let's say that here, if you try to see, this is come clearly a pure function. Here we are having a circle area. So if we pass the radius at any instance, whenever you pass the input as 20, it will always return the same output only. So this is one thing which you need to remember the same output as long as you are trying to send the same output, the same output we will be expecting. This is a pure function. We can predict this uh, output. So these are the functions that does not change any variables outside its scope. When we give a, when we give a pure function, the same input, it always returns the same output. This function is completely predictable. So this function here is completely unpredictable because it returns a string that contains a date. So here we are having a simple example, which is in uh, not a pure function. So in the same scenario, we are having an areas, which is an object. And here we are having the same function circle area. We are passing the radius to that one, but this time we are having a date function, which will take the current date 
and we are calculating the area and we are returning the date with an area here the spelling mistake for the variable it should be date not data so the date and the area we are sending the combination so now this function is a completely unpredictable okay why because every time when you execute this function always the current date will be changing so that means so it will be changing with the seconds right so the output will be changing all the times whenever you send if you send the same input also the other function is completely unpredictable because it returns a string that contains a date and date changes every second and therefore this is an impure function not a pure function in order to make useful and bug free applications we need to know when and how to create a side effects in react there is one big rule that which is that components must be pure functions when it comes to render logic so whenever you are trying to implement the render logic the component should be always a pure functions so it it should not do any side effects this means that of we give a certain component instance the same props so the same input then the component should always return the exact same output in the form of the jsx so now when you try to implement the uh, what i can say is uh, uh, when you try to send the same props as an input so always the jsx output will should be the same this means that render logic is not <clears throat> allowed to produce any side effect so in other words the logic that runs at the top level and is responsible for rendering the component should have no interaction with the outside world so here what i am trying to tell that render logic is not allowed to produce any side effect in other words the logic that runs at the top level and is responsible for rendering the component should have no interaction with the outside world this means that render logic is not allowed to perform network network request to create timers or to directly work with the dom api so these are this render logic should not work with all the things for example listening to events using as event listener so listening to events using as event listener now according to what we learned previously render logic also not muted objects or variables that are outside the scope of the component function so and and this is actually the reason why we cannot mutate the props so this is the main thing why we will not mutate the props why because these props data is coming from the outside function which is the rule of the react it's because doing so would be a side effect and side effects are not uh, allowed finally we really cannot update state or refs in the render logic so in the render logic we should not update the state or refs in the render logic and updating state in render logic would actually create an infinite loop so whenever you update the state or uh, update the state immediately the render logic will be executed so this will be an infinite loop and which is why we can never do that state updates are technically not side effects but it's still important for them to be on this list now there are other side effects that are technically not allowed as well but we create all the time like using console.log or creating random numbers so these are clearly interactions with the outside world but they do not but they don't seem to do any harm and so we can safely keep doing them so writing side effects are only forbidden inside the render logic this means that we have other options this means that we have other options for running the side effects so now in the render logic if you don't perform the side effects that means out mutating the or changing the outside uh, scope variables means then what we can do so we have other options to doing this type of side effects second if you if you need to create a side effect as soon as the component oh sorry so we saw earlier that even handler functions are not render logic and therefore side effects are allowed and actually encouraged to be used inside these functions so even handler functions are uh, not are not doesn't come under the render, render logic so we can implement the side effects inside that one second if you need if we need to create a side effect as soon as the component function is first executed so we can register the side effect using a special hook called use effect so for example let, let's say that when you when the component is first time loaded it's first time executed and you want to perform a side effect in that one so you cannot implement that one in the render logic so for the for those type of implementations like http request or api calls or anything so you can register that side effect using a special hook called use effect so this is the use effect which we will try to learn in the upcoming videos so this is all about the pure component so what why which component should be pure and which component should be impure where we need to write the side effects code and where we need to write the pure code so this is all the explanation about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you